Welcome to the video. In this video we're going to be talking about our friend the Minim OSD and in particular a new version of the board which is the Minim OSD Micro. Now those of you who have been subscribers for a while will have seen this Minim OSD cropping up in lots of videos over the past year and a half. We've connected it to the NAS A32, various APM boards, MultiWii and we'll also be connecting it to the CC3D in the near future as well. You'll also remember that not only did we connect it to all of those boards and we tried different versions of firmware, but we also did a modification where we added a small pair of resistors to the side of the board and actually soldered a wire directly onto one of the pins on the processor itself so that we could measure the battery voltage. Now that was a really interesting video and quite a fun thing to do but did require some very very careful soldering to make sure that that worked. Now what happened was that original Minim OSD went through a couple of different versions and rather than have to have all of these external cables directly soldered onto the connections themselves they actually came uh, the KV team came up with a modified version of the board where they actually had each of these pins along the side that allowed you to connect to these pins rather than have to wire the individual cables to directly to the CPU fantastic idea because now rather than you have to have a super fine soldering iron and nerves of steel you could connect your battery voltages RSSI current sensors to these additional pins at the side now I've been thinking about getting one of those but now there's a new version of the board available and that's the one I want to talk to you about today this one is called the micro or the minim OSD micro it is really really tiny it's only 15 millimeters side by side on one side it has the processor and on the other side it has the max chip and excitingly they've got rid of all of the um, power issues that we've talked about in our other videos and they've also simplified some of the connections for the video as well as again still having the pads on the side so that you can connect directly to these pads for things like voltage monitoring of two batteries RSSI and also current so what I want to do is talk about this new board and go through some of the features so that you're aware of it the last thing we'll talk about before we jump on the bench to show it you is um, we're actually running um, on this board that we're going to look at version 1.3 of the MultiWii hyphen OSD now at the moment we can still download that from code.google.com slash p slash MultiWii hyphen OSD if we click on downloads then the latest version that we can download is version 1.3 that's the version that came pre-installed on mine which is great I'll show you how to connect to that via the FTDI adapter because I've already done my soldering here but that's the version that you can run it and the GUI that you can set it up with okay now we've covered that let's go onto the bench if you want to know more about these other videos I'll put links in the description and you can watch all of the detail I would say though that in terms of all the wiring and everything else the wiring is identical if you're using one of these older boards or whether or not you're using the new micro board the pins are, are almost identical so you just have to follow the wiring diagram but I'll put a couple of slides up in a bit to show you how to connect it up to give you an idea of how that works in practice so let me show you how small this thing is in real life and go through what each of the pins do around the outside so here's a classic Minim OSD. This is one of mine. It doesn't have the KV mods on it, so you can't see those extra pins along the bottom that allows you to solder the battery RSI current sensors and everything directly. Now each of these squares on this mat is a centimeter, so you can see that it isn't a particularly large board. It's about 40 centimeters long by uh, less than 20 wide. And that is, you know, not a particularly large board, um, does a great job. Uh, in comparison, this is the Minim OSD Micro, and you can see it is absolutely tiny. Um, 
These are the cables at the side to connect it to the um, incoming feed from the camera and also to connect it to the transmitter. And we also have other pins on it too. Now I've already spent a bit of time soldering everything to this. So on the left hand side, this is the video in and video out. On the top, these are the FTDI pins. So the standard things that you would run it from. And uh, the pins are the same um, as the one on the main Minim OSD, so that's kind of the same set of pins as the one on there. <coughs> so if I put it like that, I'm going to give you an idea. Um, these pins, however, at the bottom, are actually the ones that are made to do all the connections to. So let me just put a quick diagram on the screen and I'll show you what all of these pins are for. First set we'll talk about is the ones at the top. Now obviously we've talked about those, those are the FTDI pins. Uh, be careful, they're the other way round to the ones on the normal board. If you have an FTDI adapter that you're going to, to connect to it, here's one of mine, then the way it actually connects is normally you'd expect the FTDI adapter to go off the side of the board. Because of the um, compact nature of this, they've obviously had to do something here because the way you put the FTDI adapter on the top is like that. And then that way, the black lines up and the green lines up and it works fine. So just be aware of that when you're putting it together. Next set of pins that we need to talk about then is our uh, video in and video out. So at the side, there is ground video in and then it's ground video out. So um, in the other Minim OSD that we played with, I purposely never connected the voltages because it always gave you problems. Nice to see in the latest version, they've actually um, taken that feedback to heart and they've actually got rid of that. So there's none of the craziness about 12 volt and five volt systems. Uh, next bit then we'll talk about is this: these two pads at the side. I actually haven't got anything connected to those at all. They are plus five volts and ground if you'd like to run them. Uh, there are warnings that this board takes about half an amp. So you're gonna have to make sure that your um, supply can handle that. But I would normally run the plus five volts and um, ground using the FTDI pins because that's how all my cables are already set up. So it's easy for me to swap it across. And then finally, the bit at the bottom, which is the KV mod pins. And here we have at the bottom, it goes a ground connection, connection for battery one, which would usually be your flight battery, battery two, which is probably going to be your video battery if you have a separate system for that, RSSI, which is for the signal strength, then you have the current sensor, and then you have a ground pin at the other side. Now I've actually uh, just soldered pins onto all of them, although for the demo we'll probably just wire it up to battery one to show you how that works. A couple of quick wiring diagrams then, just to show you what that looks like. So very similar if you've seen my APM videos, the wiring is identical, so all the pins are the same, with the exception of the KV mod, they're just in slightly different places. So as usual, if you were going to install this one, as opposed to one of the more traditional, larger size boards, then all you'd have to be careful of is that you're connecting ground to ground, plus five volts to plus five volts, transmit to receive and receive to transmit. If you're doing that, then you will be in good shape. So there's no point in me making a whole new series of videos for the Minim OSD Mini or Micro because those kind of wiring diagrams exist. But here's one for um, the APM 3.1, just to give you an idea. Next one I'll talk about then is how you wire it in to the camera. So again, very straightforward. All we're going to do here is we're going to plug the video in from the camera and the video out into the video transmitter. And because, um, it, hopefully this will make it slightly easier, I've kind of made up these two pins. So this one here will connect into the um, camera itself. This one will connect into the transmitter. So this nice little small board won't take up much room on the quad and it's a lot lighter than the much bigger one. So now we know that, let's go and um, get one of my quads with a multi wee on and we'll plug this in. Um, and uh, we'll also have a look on the graphical user interface and actually connect it to the PC via the FTDI and we'll have a look how it's working. As I said, my board actually came pre-flashed 
um, with a version of the operating system on or well it's actually set up for a multi Wii using OSD version 1.3 so um, I know which GUI I need to run up to have a look at that uh, so we'll do that too so here's the board connected to a multi Wii controller. Here it is at the front, connected via the cable to the uh, UART output on the board itself. I'll uh, put a uh, image up now to show how that's wired. And the other side is then connected via these cables to the transmitter and the camera. And the camera's covered by a little bag. If I lift that up, you can see it. So there is the information on the screen. You can see. Uh, disarms and the horizon bits and pieces so that's all looking like it's going to work now obviously to change this you'd have to connect it up to the graphical user interface on the screen I'll put a link uh, to the video that has the full description of how all this is done for the full size minim OSD but the process is exactly the same the key is that you need to obviously connect it via the FTDI adapter make sure you've got the polarity right and you'll be in good shape so now we know that, last thing to talk about is about the software version. So we talked about this very briefly, but you need to make sure that on this small board you're running the code.google.com slash p slash hyphen osd that you're clicking um, on download and that you're downloading version 1.3 of the software and using that you can access all of these fantastic features of the board. So hopefully that's interesting for those of you that have been looking at Minim OSD and are thinking about buying this. My recommendation would be, if you're thinking about it, give it a go. It's a great board, really small, loads of functionality. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and as always, happy flying.